channel. My name is Phil, and today we're going to be doing the oil change on the CB1100. Um, I got my oil filter. I got the 10W30 full synthetic motor oil, not Honda, but this will work. But the first thing we need to do is put the center stand back on because I took that off when I modified my exhaust. And I want to be able to make sure that the bike is fully level when I empty the oil to make sure everything runs out. Um, so let's do that first. centered let's work on the oil change all right so the first thing we want to do is remove the oil plug and you're going to use a number 17 for that don't forget the gloves it's a hot one today here in florida i'm sweating so let's loosen that plug Make sure you don't drop it. And hold on to the gasket as well. I always like to push it down like that. There she goes. All right, I'll clean this guy off. The hard part now is gonna to try to get the oil filter off without the right tools. Not recommended but do what you get to do. I got this little ratchet strap. I'm just going to try to wrap it around and then get a little pull on it. So, still waiting for the oil to drain, but I want to get this set up. Let's go ahead and put the screw back on. So we know if there's ever a leak, it's clean, tighten it down with your number 17. Just a good hand tighten is good. You don't want to go crazy. That's good. All right. Now, moment of truth. Let's see if we can get this filter off. Thirty minutes later, I got a wrench. It wasn't working, as you obviously saw. Be smart when you're doing this. <laughs> Be smart when you're doing this. Don't do what I did. Spend the uh, four dollars and ninety-seven cents to buy this wrench at Walmart or auto parts store, and just get it off. Let's do this. <laughs> When we're putting this thing back on, you just want to hand tighten it. And then let's move around to the other side and fill up the oil. Now this takes 4.1 quarts. What the service manual says. So we're just probably gonna do three and a half or something. 
and then run it for a little bit, warm up the engine, and then <clears throat> check the oil, and then fill it back up. now for a little bit I still don't really have any indication in the little people so let's fill it up a little more we only did three and a half uh, we'll probably empty this thing maybe a little bit less let us sit and check it out okay let's go That concludes the oil change on the CB1100. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you got some kind of value out of that. I'm sweating. I'm drenched. And yeah, let me know if you guys like this video. If you want to see more, if you want to see something specific on this bike, uh, the next thing is definitely going to be the fender eliminator. I see you, Ben. Got to get that done. Whether I buy that part on eBay, uh, which is like a little under two hundred dollars, or um, I have my buddy make it, which I'm hoping he can do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give me a like, and 